Hey everyone, what's going on? Toy Reviewer, 1984. I am back today for another review, or you could say collection video. I just want to give you guys a updated collection video of my Mighty Morphin Power Rangers display. Uh, we got a quite a bit to go over here, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, here is a look at my Green Ranger lithogram in frame. Very nice. My Legacy Dragon Dagger. My Legacy Saba. My Legacy Blade Blaster. Those are my sidearms. Let's go ahead and take a look at my Zords. Here we got the Thunder Megazord and Repro labels. Sorry guys, this might be a little shaky because I don't I'm walking around doing this. I don't have my tripod for this. So here is my original Megazord from 93 in Repro labels. Here is the black and gold legacy Megazord. Here are all my SH figure arts. That Jason with the Power Blaster. Tommy with his Sword of Darkness and Dragon Dagger. Here's my 93 Dragon Buckler. Here is the um, Legacy Power Morpher, Green and White Ranger. Here's the White Ranger Movie Morpher and the Legacy Morpher. Let's go ahead and move down. We have the original 94 Tiger Zord in Repro Labels, the 94 Ninja Zord, Ninja Mega Zord, and Repro Labels. Here's just a little on card I have uh, Tommy. Here are my legacy figures. We've got Lord Zed, Tommy the White, Zack, Trini, Tommy as seen in Dino Thunder, Armored Red. Pink and blue. And I got the mask collection there too, you can see. Now we have some power coins that I customized in that little case. Those are the legacy power coins that came with the green and white Ranger Morpher. I just go ahead and I painted them and clear coated them. Here is some movie figures. Got Tommy, Aisha, Adam, Jason, Kimberly, and Billy. And I also customized their coins. I didn't like the weather look. I went ahead and I went gold. Down here we got boxed 8 inch figure, 8 inch red, 8 inch green, 8 inch white. Here are the armored might figures. And there's a cosplay buckler back there. Here are the Imagine X Rangers. Which I think are kind of cool. They're different. Here are the little vinyl figures from 93. I have all the flip heads. Automorph flip heads. Here are the hero rangers from uh, the Super Mega Force line. Action hero ones. The white, green, and red. Here are some of my keys. I don't have them all on display, but those are the core ones that I do have. Next, we'll take a look at the Legacy Zords. We got the 2013 Legacy Megazord. We got the Tiger Zord and the Dragon Zord. Here are the original Saba and Dragon Dagger. We have Tor in Repro Labels. He is complete as well. Here is my original 93 Titanus. He needs a little TLC. He does not have rubber labels yet, but I'm working on getting them. And when I do, I'll go ahead and do a proper review. And here is my Legacy Titanus in box. I have opened him, but I keep him in the box because he's so big I don't have anywhere to uh, display him. So when I do get more shelves, I'll uh, get him and the original Titanus displayed. So that is my collection up to date, guys. It's growing by the day, I guess you could say. 
here's what one of the custom coins looks like in the Legacy Power Morper. I got the Tyrannosaurus coin in there now. A lot better than the leather coins, I think. So if you guys are wanting to do that, and you want to know how I did it, go ahead and leave comments down below and I'll help you out. That's a little crooked. Let's go ahead and fix that. But yeah, I love that Dragon Buckler. That's the 93 Dragon Buckler that I customized. So, and I elected to go without the black bolts to have that Season 1 look. Um, so I just elected not to put the black bolts on. So we'll do one more quick overview. Go ahead and step back. Got my sidearms. I just did a review of my blade blaster, so if you guys want to check that out, it's in my channel. Oh, I forgot this guy. What the heck am I thinking? There's the 93 Dragon Zord and Rupper labels. Sorry about that. So that is my collection, guys. And uh, the Blade Blaster is the newest edition. And I will be getting the Legacy Thunder Megazord when it comes out. And I will rearrange my top shelf and put him up there with the 94 Season 2 Thunder Megazord. Alright guys, there's my collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you guys have any questions on anything seen in this video, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Like this video if you found it useful. And make sure to hit that subscribe button. I got more coming, guys, so stay tuned. This has been the Toy Reviewer, 1984, with my updated MMPR collection. All right, guys, I got to bust on out of here. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, you take care, and we'll see you later.